Hi, this is Mighty John, the record guy from MoneyMusic.com, and welcome to our first episode of Money Music, where you'll learn the value of your records. Each episode, we will feature 10 records, each worth up to $100 or more. But to kick off our first episode, we are going to go big and feature 10 records, each worth up to $500 or more. We hope you'll subscribe and comment, so let's get started and count them down. Number 10. What record by The Doors is worth up to $500? The first release for The Doors, Break On Through to the Other Side, wasn't an instant hit, but over time, it has become one of their best-known songs. The original 45 on Electra Records, released in 1967 as seen here, is worth up to $25. But if you have the picture sleeve for the single, the value jumps up to $500. Remember, the picture sleeves that came with many 45s are generally worth more than the records. Number 9. What 45 by The Who is worth up to $650? The Who released one of their best-known albums, Live at Leeds, in 1970. The single, Young Man Blues, from the album did not sell as well as the album itself, but is worth a whole lot more. By itself, the 45 is worth up to $150. But with the picture sleeve, the value jumps up to $650. Number 8. What album by Buddy Holly is worth up to $750? One of the legends of rock and roll is Buddy Holly. All of his records can be quite collectible, but it is his classic, That'll Be The Day, that we feature today. Did you know it was the first song ever played on American Bandstand when the show went national in 1957? The original 45 can now sell up to $300. But the That'll Be The Day album, as seen here, released on Decca Records in 1958, is now worth up to $750. Number 7. What album by Ike and Tina Turner can now sell for up to $750? Ike and Tina Turner was one of the most popular and successful duos in the history of soul and rock and roll. Ike played piano on what most historians consider to be the first rock and roll record, Rocket 88, released in 1951. As for Tina, her solo career is also legendary. In 1961, Sue Records released the album The Soul of Ike and Tina Turner, containing their debut single, A Fool in Love. The album is now worth up to $750. Number 6. What single by The Turtles is now worth up to $750? The Turtles had some big hits in the mid to late 60s like She'd Rather Be With Me and Happy Together. But the big money is for one of their lesser known singles called The Story of Rock and Roll. Again, the picture sleeve makes all the difference. Released on White Whale Records in 1968, the 45 is worth no more than $20. But with the picture sleeve, the value can go as high as $750. Number 5. What number one hit by the Beatles is worth up to $800? When it comes to the value, we could talk for days about the big money in Beatles records. And we will talk a lot about them in future episodes. But today, we feature their number one hit from 1964, Can't Buy Me Love, released on Capitol Records, is worth up to $40. But once again, the picture sleeve can really raise the value, in this case, up to $800. Number four, what album by The Platters can now sell for $1,000? One of the most successful and popular groups of the 50s and 60s was The Platters. As a matter of fact, they sold more records in the 1950s than any other group. Their album, simply called The Platters, was released on Federal Records in 1957 and contained their smash hit, Only You, which is not worth up to $250. But find a copy of their album, as seen here, and $1,000 could be yours. Number 3. Do you have Elvis Presley's first single? It's worth up to $1,200. As with the Beatles, we could spend forever 
talking about Elvis and the big monetary value in his many records. But for now, let's talk about the one that started it all. The song, originally recorded by Arthur Big Boy Crunup in 1949, was called That's All Right. Elvis Presley's version set the stage for what would become an iconic career. The single on Sun Records is now worth up to $1,200. Number two, are you a fan of the group Genesis? Their first 45 is worth up to $4,500. The Silent Sun is the first single for Genesis. The Silent Sun that never shines. Co-written by Peter Gabriel, the song is a fusion of pop and folk music, and unlike the progressive music the band would become known for. It wasn't exactly the hit they were looking for, but you should be looking for a copy of the 45, released on Parrot Records in 1968. The Silent Sun by Genesis is now worth up to $4,500. And number one, what record is worth up to $15,000? We close this countdown of 10 records, each worth up to $500 or more, with a man known as the father of Delta Blues, Robert Johnson. You want to know how good the blues can get? Well, this is it, said Keith Richards. Eric Clapton said, I have never found anything more deeply soulful than Robert Johnson. Early this morning Johnson's 1938 single, Me and the Devil Blues, is now worth up to $15,000. And I said, how long, Satan? I believe it's time to go. For a thousand more free examples of what your records are worth, go to moneymusic.com.